fun dog fact. Did you know the most popular dog in America for the past 26 years Whoa. is the Labrador Retriever? They're so heckin' cute, but popularity sometimes comes with cost. As evidenced by a new study in canine genetics and epidemiology, being a chocolate lab means that you're actually gonna have bad health. Well, what's wrong with being a lab? They found that chocolate labs live 10% shorter lives than yellow or black labs. That is not insignificant. No, when is your dog? That's sad. That's 10% less cuddles. So chocolate specifically. Specifically chocolate. Chocolate labs yeah. live. Wow, okay, why? So basically there's this reduced gene pool that chocolate labs are coming out of, mm -hmm. right? And this gene pool is more conducive to skin and ear conditions. Okay. Yeah, their chocolate labs in comparison to black and yellow are two times more likely to get this awful ear condition. Twice as likely. Twice as likely. Yikes. Yeah, not so great. And then four times as likely to get the skin condition. <sighs> okay. Oof. Yeah, so this culminates in living lives that are 10% shorter than the average lifespan of a Labrador, which is 12.1 years. Got it. Today, most purebred dogs are at risk for all these awful inherited diseases. Right, I mean, we all know that, you know, American and French Bulldogs are just now, just not healthy in the way we keep breeding them into extinction. English Bulldogs are really at, in last place. Like, in, in 2016, there was this study that came from UC Davis, and they said that they are they reached a genetic dead end, which means that like we need to bring in other breeds of bulldogs into their their gene pool because it's just not worth it when it comes to all these different. Got it. So genetic. we just like can't let them keep breeding the way we've been breeding them. But what if they like are really in love? But, Two dogs. But I would still say they, they should. Have them, but they can't. Star cross lovers. English Bulldogs get hip dysplasia, breathing issues, cancer. That's kind of like how it goes when you are a purebred dog that has been, over the time, been selected for it, specific inherited traits, right? Like the things mm. that we think are so cute, like a French Bulldog's little smushed face. Yeah, the English Bulldog's goblin underbite. Yeah, yeah, they're just like these adorable goblins. Right. Um, but they can't breathe. They can't breathe. They can't breathe. I think it's important to note that this study was only conducted on Chocolate labs are born in the United Kingdom. So oh. we can't extrapolate that all chocolate labs are experiencing this. But. Because American dogs. Rock number and roll. one. So healthy. No, we don't know that. Yeah. So, Justin, now that you know the fate of the chocolate lab, yeah. what do you think? Would you get one? It's. I mean, it's like for the chocolate labs that already exist, of course we should adopt them and give them good lives. Because they're unhealthy, it's not that we should not care for them. But in terms of continuing to breed them, I mean, first of all, I mean, yeah, let's adopt, don't shop. And then from there, I guess we do need to keep in mind that breeding in a certain way can lead to them having worse lives, even though it makes our lives better. So I, mean, I guess it takes a, a little compromise on both sides. Yeah, I think that's a good point. And also that we should keep on conducting these scientific studies, right? Definitely. This study just focused on labs that are from the UK. Right. But now they're about to replicate that city in Australia. Right, so where they're also super popular. Where they're also super popular. Um, and we can see if this is a regionally specific thing or something deeper and darker going on when it comes to your genes. Yeah, in a weird way. I mean, I just like really hope that it's just UK dogs that are getting the short end of the stick. I know, now that we're, we're chatting, like, man, I would love to have is... a chocolate lab right now. Yeah. That sounds delightful. Yeah, I hope it's just English dogs. <laughs> suck. <laughs> but the American ones, healthy.